All right, we are in the kitchen today. We have two chefs, John Ledbetter from Conk and Bucket. He's going to join us in just a couple minutes. But this is Chef Dane Tomaszewski from the Tap House. Both restaurants are participating in Hampton Restaurant Week that is happening now. It started this past weekend, and it goes through the weekend. Dane, yes. from the Tap House, what are you cooking for us this morning? Uh, today I'll be making an oven-roasted pork loin. Mm -hmm. uh, nice, simple, but delicious. Uh, with a black currant jam to finish it off, some steamed vegetables, and some garlic rosemary red potatoes. Okay, you're going to be in here with uh, John Ledbetter. Yes. So are you guys going to fight it out, see who comes out on top, or are you going to get along today? No, yeah, we get along. We've been working together side by side for four years now. Really? So, okay. Yeah. Very good. It's okay. good to be back in the kitchen with them. Uh, that's awesome. Well, we can't wait to get started. We got two chefs for the price of one on a Monday, and it's nice and warm here. So uh, we're going <laughs> to warm up and heat things up in just a few minutes, guys. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. Back in the kitchen with Shane Dane Tomaszewski, executive chef from the Tap House in Hampton. One of the great restaurants participating in Hampton Restaurant Week. It's going on all week long. He's going to make one of the menu, uh, one of the dishes on the menu, pork loin with currant jam and roasted vegetables. Dane, I asked you. I said pork tenderloin, but you said pork loin. Yes. Pork See, loin. I didn't know there was a difference. Um, in you know, at the restaurant we use a pork loin. Tenderloin is you know, it's more available to the public. It's mm -hmm more of the front of the pig itself uh, as opposed to the loin comes farther off the back but um, both are delicious this one I think personally holds up a little bit better to roasting uh -huh. meanwhile I prefer to grill or sear the tenderloin okay so uh, you got a lot to do in a little bit of time so get with it there all right what do we so got we'll take the pork loin it's about two and a half three pounds um, like to feed a large family mm -hmm. sorry about that That's like all to right. feed a large family uh, I'm going to Rub it with salt, pepper, and minced garlic. You could use granulated garlic. Um, keep my garlic in oil. We will crank this guy up. A uh, little bit of butter in the pan. Rub this guy. Get a nice coating This'll, and sear it. We're gonna sear it to help with the color before it roasts. And you'll get a nice, delicious, flavorful color. Um, okay. While that's going, I'm going to start the currant jam. It's about a half a cup of uh, black currants, which I'm sure you can find at pretty much any specialty grocery store. Okay, now uh, let's stop you right there. Okay. Currants. Those look like raisins. They're raisins. Um, they're, they're similar to cherries, mm -hmm. but they usually come dried like, like a raisin. Okay. So that's two cups of uh, apple cider, um, alcoholic in this sense, um, and a quarter cup of sugar. And we're just going to bring that all the way up to a boil. And um, you can cook that as far as you want. Uh, they will start to inflate and get nice and bubbly. Or and how's that going to finish up? It seems like it's going to... It'll start to caramelize. It'll reduce. Um, you're going to boil it all the way down. If you're pressed for time, you can boil it much faster. So we're going to go ahead and fire the pork loin. There you go. Get this in here. Get some nice brown on each side. And we'll fire that to the oven. Uh, with the red potatoes in it. And when they're done... We'll finish them with butter, garlic, and rosemary. Um, along with that, I'm going to start the vegetables now. Okay. So this is our house trio down at Tap House. We like uh, our zucchini, carrots, and broccoli. Can't really go wrong with them. We change it up seasonally, but this is our preferred go-to. I so, see that, but the zucchini, you just gave it just a little bit of scaling just to give it some appearance. Yeah, and it also helps break down the skin a little bit. Okay. So texturally, it's not a big chew in the mouth. Um, just going to steam it with water. The carrots are going to take a little bit longer, so start with those. Um, broccoli crown, just cut it down to nice small florets. The less stem, the less chew when you're done. So, get the carrots going. Ready to flip on the loin? Yeah, we're a little cool there, but you can go ahead and roll it. Okay. Bring the zucchini in. There you go. Get the broccoli going. This will prefer to cover, just to actually steam it. So. Well, I'll let you see it. So, we'll keep that open. Um, that's going to be a salt, pepper, butter finish when it's done. Okay, um, so you're going to you're gonna just brown this and then all is going to end up in the oven, right? Yes, going to head right in there now. Okay, well now's a really good time to talk about Tap House. Yes. Something tells me that you guys are really known for your beer. Yeah, we have uh, 37 beers on draft and close to or over at times uh, 100 in bottle, 100 beers in bottles. Um, but we have become known a lot more or synonymously for our food. You come in there, you expect pub food, you expect right. bar food, but we try to keep it 
a couple notches above that. Uh -huh. And um, just, you know, it, we like to impress. We love, there's no better compliment than people saying, I came here expecting a quesadilla and walked out of here with the best meal I've ever had. Ah, and very nice. Don't like to toot our own horn, but we hear that and it's, it's motivating. Um, I've been there four going on. We, we've almost been open five years. Right. Um, I've been there four and it's just every day when you hear something like that, it's just like a reason to go to work again. That's so cool. It's very that, nice. that is very cool. And, and your thoughts on Hampton Restaurant Week? Um, it is, it's a very, very cool program um, mm -hmm. and it keeps expanding. Now we're in partnership with the Coliseum, but I believe right. it started downtown and um, it brings new people out. It gives it us a chance to give people a deal and it right. brings people who aren't necessarily looking for beer out and realize that we're a restaurant. We're involved right. in this and we have great food and great services, great service to offer. All right, Dane Tomaszewski is uh, from the Tap House. He's doing a great job on the Tenderloin. We'll finish that up in a few minutes. Hampton Restaurant Week now through Friday. Tap House, 17 Queensway, 358-1438. Or you can find out more at downtownhampton.com. Dane, good job and we'll check with you in just a few minutes. All right, back now in the kitchen with John Ledbetter, executive chef from Conk and Bucket, one of the great restaurants participating in Hampton Restaurant Week. He's going to make a dish you can enjoy from their menu this week, Cajun crawfish and andouille jambalaya. Yep. John, Ready? that sounds delicious. And yeah. I know this looks a little easy. I know you whip this up all the time. All the time. Whip it up for us here on the Hampton Road. All right, Show. you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. First, we're going to start with a little butter. Nice and hot. Get a towel so you don't burn your hand. Yeah, I know. I was looking for one earlier. You had it all the time. All that. Yeah, uh, put the andouille time. in first because there's a lot of pork in that, a lot mm -hmm. of fat. I want some of that fat to run out so it'll, the flavor will run through the dish. Right. right. Okay. Right now, got some minced garlic and a little bit of oil. I'm going to keep that in there. Do that very good. I'm going to brown that garlic a little bit. Um, also, at this point, I've got some chopped thyme. We use fresh herbs, of course. Uh, that's about, say, a tablespoon. Sprinkle that in there. I want that flavor to get into the fat as well, so that'll run through the dish. A lot of garlic uh, in there. A lot of garlic, man. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of garlic. Don't be afraid of garlic. Stuff. Garlic it's is good, good for you. Yeah. Antioxidants and now jambalaya is usually very spicy. Yes. Where, where, where are we going to introduce the spice? Introduce the spice. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. All right. Uh, at this point, we're going to throw in the crawfish. Um, Normally, we got the whole crawfish, and it's a lot more fun to eat that way. Mm -hmm. you, know, you boil the whole thing and pinch the tail off and suck right. the meat out of there. Um, but for the sake of time, of course, we'll use the just tail meat. Okay. Will that be served like that this week? In It'll the, be in served the, shell? the tail meat. Okay. All right. Only. Okay. Sometimes we mess around with the, with the whole thing. Sure. It's fun. Uh, onions and peppers in now, and celery. We call this Holy Trinity in Creole Cajun cooking. Um, now we'll do a little bit of white wine, just a dash, chicken stock. We make our own in the house. Something tells me you use that with a lot of your dishes. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, we make this stuff, a lot of it, all the time. This is diced uh, roasted Roma tomato. Mm -hmm. uh, what I did with that is I roasted them on the grill right. uh, for a long time. Also, something not to be afraid of. Um, that adds looks delicious. good flavor to your dishes mm -hmm. and uh, makes them yummy. Uh, at this point, I'm going to heat up a little bit. Now, here goes the There's cayenne the pepper. That's what will warm you up when your head goes yeah. bald. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I'd rather see Dane, Dane bald. Dane's got the hair down. I think he did it once man. in his Dane, life. Dane would but, be uh, better bald than me. <laughs> That's tomato juice. Uh -huh. A little bit of that stuff, also good. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to add the rice. Lots, lots of rice. Speaking of Dane, Dane, you come back over here and, and I want you to uh, plate up your dish while you finish up yours, John, and yeah. uh, keep on going. And while you're at it, since you're almost on the way home, tell me about Conk and Bucket, because something Conk tells Bucket. me that you guys are really good with seafood fare. We do. We do a lot of seafood. Um, we opened this uh, August, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been open since then. Uh, as Tap House does beer, yeah. Conk and Bucket does wine. Oh, okay. And it's not just super duper fancy, expensive bottles of wine. There are some pretty affordable ones, um, ranging from anywhere from seventeen dollars uh, to all the way to fifty. Oh wow! Um, yeah. But so you have the perfect wine to go with a lot of seafood. We do. Known for your seafood. A lot of wine. Lots of different wine. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. And, and your thoughts on uh, Hampton Restaurant Week? I know you guys are thrilled to be able to maybe show off your stuff to we people are. who haven't been there before. We are. It's uh. It, 
restaurant week's a lot of fun. It gives you an opportunity to get out and really see what these restaurants are capable of doing mm -hmm. and what their chefs love to do. Something different than the menu and it's fun for everybody. How are we doing on your jambalaya? Ready doing pretty good. Play pretty simmer. Yep. Getting close. Doing real good. So all the ingredients are in? Uh, all the ingredients are in. I'm going to add one little pat of butter to finish it. Let that melt in there. And then I'll be ready to plate in just a minute. Okay, well, we're just Dane. about done. I'll show you what Dane. Dane did a pork uh, loin, and he's got his plated up. We're going to try this here in a few minutes. Hampton Restaurant Week, now through Friday, Conk and Bucket, 13 Queensway. You can call them at 864-0865, or uh, you can find them online at downtownhampton.com. John Ledbetter, Dane, great job, guys. We're going to check this out in just a minute. Thanks, Chris.